Right, what's going on guys, back here with another video for you. In this video I will be showing you how to upgrade the bow to get the fire element. This one was pretty tough, but as you can see it looks pretty good. And this will be including the missing step. If this does help, please drop a like and subscribe. Right, what you're going to want to do is you will have to pick up this bow and make your way to the clock tower. At the top of the clock tower on your left there will be a symbol on the wall. You will need to shoot this symbol to release the arrow from the wall. You will need to walk up to this arrow and pick it up so we can start the first steps of upgrading this bow. For this next step guys, you will need to go to the rocket's facility and wait for the rocket to take off. Once the rocket has taken off, this here is not what you want to do. You will not hold your bow for too long and make sure you hit it right in the center. You will need to make sure your bow locks into place and you let go as soon as it locks into place. If done correctly, your ball of fire will fly all the way up above the death ray. For this next step guys, you will need to go to these three launch pads. To the left of the tip of my bow, there is one launch pad. The second launch pad will be above double tap and the third launch pad will be down in the rocket facility. This step is pretty hard. What you will need to do is go in each launch pad and launch yourself across the map and there will be these three red rings that appear. If you miss these rings, you will need to retry it by going back to the launch pad and try it again. If you have a look here, there is one red ring to the left. If you shoot this ring, it will stay alight. If you miss it, it will disappear. So make sure you hit these rings guys, otherwise you will have to retry and spend a lot of points. So to the next location below the watchtower, we need to do the same thing here. Make your way across and shoot the red ring on your right, as you will see on screen. Once you have done this one, we will make our way to the last final one. It doesn't matter which order we do this in. And this one is pretty hard. It took me quite a while to get this one. Once you have done all three locations, guys, you will need to make your way to the orange rings and kill zombies to fill up the orange rings with the zombie souls. It does not matter which order you do this in, but once you have completed this, you will see an orange beam come out of each ring. Once you have done all three rings, you may need to make your way to one ring that is still alight and kill a zombie. Once you have killed this zombie, it will drop a lava rock. You might not see this lava rock, but you probably will have it once you have done this step. Now you will need to make your way up to the watchtower. Once you have reached the watchtower, there will be a clock. You will need to press square on the clock and it will reveal a code to you. There are three fireplaces with three different codes and one of them fireplaces will have the same code as what you are given. So let's go straight to the first fireplace where the second dragon's head will spawn. Once you have made it to this fireplace, there will be one code inside the fireplace on the wall. The second code will be opposite Samantha's bedroom in Eddie's bedroom. And the third and final fireplace will be opposite the first dragon's head up the stairs next to the Wonder Fizz. Once you have found the location of the code, the same code that you had got from the clock, you will need to make your way back to the orange beam in the ground and then for example, if you were to shoot the ground, you would see this lava rock that we got from the zombie earlier. Do not do this guys, because you will need to save this rock for the next step. So let's get into this step. Right, my, my code was over here in this fireplace. So I will need to go back to the lit up ring and stand in this ring and shoot towards this location. Because this will be the location of my fireplace. When you do this guys, you only have 3 lava rocks per round, so if you miss, you will have to wait till the next round. But if you look here, that is my lava rock in the top left. I will need to make my way to this location, stand inside this lava rock and shoot towards this fireplace. Now I have shot my second lava rock, I will need to stand inside this lava rock and shoot into the fireplace directly at the code. If you have done this correctly guys, you will see the purple smoke appear from the fireplace. Once that smoke appears, you will need to go up to the smoke, hold square to grab your arrow. Once you have grabbed your arrow, you will need to make your way to the middle of the death ray and hold square on this sun-like orb. Once you have held square, you will need to wait for this to explode and it will drop another arrow. You will need to go up to this arrow, hold square, then make your way down to the pyramid. Once you have made your way down to the pyramid, you will need to hold square on this box. Each box has a different symbol for each elemental bow. 
Then you will need to collect zombie souls to fill this box up. Once you have done this, place your bow inside of the box, wait for it to enchant your bow, then go back up to this boat, hold square, and there you have it guys. That is the tutorial on how to upgrade your bow to the wolf bow. If this video was helpful guys, please drop a like and a subscribe. If you were stuck on any steps, just let me know in the comments below.